Hi guys, just a short video about the Vanguard Australian Shares Index ETF VAS. If you're looking for a cheap and easy way to invest in the Australian share market, VAS might just be for you. Just a quick disclaimer, although I personally invest in VAS, about 30% of my portfolio, I do not have any professional association with Vanguard nor know anybody who works for them. First of all, quick revision, what is an ETF? According to Investopedia, an ETF, an exchange traded fund, is simply a basket of securities that trade on an exchange, just like a stock. Their prices fluctuate all day as the ETF is bought and sold. This is different from mutual funds that only trade once a day after the market closes. They offer low expense ratios and fewer broker commissions than buying the stocks individually. So what is VAS? According to the Vanguard website, Vanguard Australian Shares Index ETF seeks to track the return of the S&P ASX 300 index before taking into account fees, expenses and tax. The S&P ASX 300 index simply incorporates all of the top 300 public companies in Australia. By investing in VAS, you are literally investing in 300 of Australia's biggest companies. And the best thing about it? It just got cheaper. As part of Vanguard's ongoing commitment to lowering the cost of investing, effective 1st of July 2019, we've reduced the management fee for the Vanguard Australian Shares Index ETF from 0.14% to 0.10%. That's very cheap and a great way to invest in Australia's biggest companies. Now it's not for everyone, it's mainly for long-term investors. As Vanguard stated about the ETF's suitability, buy and hold investors seeking long-term capital growth, some tax-effective income and with a higher tolerance for the risks associated with share market volatility. While we're talking risks, it is important to understand that the value of the investments may go up and down, investment returns are not guaranteed and investors may lose some of their money. The appropriate level of risk for each person depends on a range of factors including age, investment time frame and the investor's risk tolerance. So what is the basket of underlying shares in VAS? Here are the top 15. Commonwealth Bank, BHP, Westpac, CSL, ANZ, NAB, Telstra, West Farmers, Woolworths, Macquarie Group, Rio Tinto, Transurban Group, Woodside Petroleum, Goodman Group and Newcrest Mining. That's some really big names. By buying this single ETF, you can spread your investment across all of these companies, plus 285 more. If one company goes bust, it doesn't matter. You've got the rest of the basket to prop you up. So how has VAS performed? Remembering that past performance is not an indication of future performance. This year it has performed very well. On 7th of January 2019, it was priced at $71.88. As of yesterday, 5th of July 2019, it's priced at $85.38. That's an increase of 18.78%. If you look back 12 months, it had a bit of a bumpy ride at the end of last year, but overall, if you're in it for the long haul, the Australian share market tracks steadily upwards, averaging about 10% per annum. How about distributions? VAS has quarterly distributions, that is, they give you money every three months just for holding the ETF. For example, in June this year, they gave 82.13 cents per unit. So if you own 1,000 VAS units, so about $85,000 worth, you would receive about $821 in distributions. That's for doing nothing. Just by holding onto your investments, you'll be rewarded. Anyway, I'm not here to sell you. Ultimately, you're going to have to make these decisions for yourself. But the point of this video is this. Vanguard's VAS just got cheaper. It now only has a management fee of 0.10%. If you're looking for a cheap and easy way to invest in Australia's biggest companies and you're more of a buy and hold investor who is in it for the long haul, then I recommend VAS for your Australian portfolio. Thanks for watching.